promise in the garden. Genesis chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat the dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. This week, we'd like to look at some of the key Old Testament prophecies concerning the birth of Jesus Christ or the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as Messiah uh, in, in this world. A very interesting is, uh, prophecy is that of the Garden of Eden, right there in Genesis chapter 3, uh, uh, right after Adam and Eve had sinned and disobeyed God. God is pronouncing uh, the judgment, the consequence of, of their fall. And as part of that, he also announces the uh, coming of the seed of the woman. And we understand that here there is the natural, there is the spiritual. In the natural, of course, there's enmity between uh, the, the serpents and, and, and man. They, they, they don't just get along. Uh, there's enmity and, and, and so on. That's in the natural. But in the spiritual, this is referring to the Lord Jesus himself, the seed of the woman who will bruise the head of the serpent. In many places in scripture, Satan is referred to as that old serpent. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and so the, 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 the reference here is to Satan himself, that Jesus, the seed of the woman, will crush the head of the serpent and he will bruise his heel. So yes, when Jesus Christ came on the cross, it seemed like the enemy had inflicted a severe blow to the Messiah. But in that whole process, through his death, Jesus defeated the one who had the power of death, that is the devil. He crushed the head of the serpent. That means he dealt a fatal blow to the head of the devil, Satan himself. He crushed the head of the serpent. So right there in the Garden of Eden, God foretold the coming of Jesus Christ into this world. Now, it's just one of the many prophecies, one of the many signs pointing ahead to the coming of the Messiah. But yet what a powerful description of what he would do. He would come as the seed of the woman, born of a woman, and he would come to crush the head of the serpent, deal a fatal blow to Satan. Yes, this, the, the serpent would bruise his heel. Yes, it, there's this, there would be that place on the cross of his suffering, his agony, where sins put on him and it seemed like the enemy uh, uh, has, has dealt a blow to the, to the very Son of God. But the final result is the serpent's head is crushed. Jesus Christ triumphs. A powerful, beautiful prophecy of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the work that he would accomplish in his, as Messiah, as Savior who came into this world. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We honor you. We acknowledge that you have indeed crushed the head of the serpent by what you did on the cross. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I enforce that victory in the lives of those listening. That every work of the devil be uprooted and cast out of their lives out of their minds, out of their bodies, out of their relationships, out of their finances, out of every area of their lives. Right now, I release your grace, your power, your anointing to uproot and to cast out every evil work of the enemy. Let them receive your blessing of the finished work of the cross. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.